Good afternoon, my YouTube viewers. It is Crystal here. I'm here this afternoon because I wanted to cover another statistical topic. And this particular topic is going to be the root mean squared error. Root mean squared error is actually the square root of the mean squared error. But I prefer using root mean squared error. That's the metric that I normally use. And the root mean squared error gives the measures the average magnitude of errors in predictions, providing a clear metric for model accuracy. So when you're working on um, um, regression models, um, then you're going to be using root mean squared error or mean squared error as a mechanism to determine how much error you have in um, your, your data set. So we've got an example here of the true value and the predicted value. And it's got 20 examples. So right now we've got a root mean squared error of the square root, because there's, there's not a root mean squared error or even a mean squared error um, function in Excel. So what you have to do is you have to uh, use the mathematical. So it's the square root of the sum squared A3 to A22 minus B3 to B22 over or divided by count A, A3 to, to A22. So count A just merely counts any cell that has a value in it to give you an answer and so that's going to be 20 and that's going to be the square root of that so the square root of this is 4.5 but what we can do is we can change this we can say we can change this to 5 so any number between 0 and 5 And we'll change this to any number between 0 and 5 as well. Okay, so now our root mean squared error has decreased. So now it's not 4. Now it's 2.3. So that's just telling you that when the variance between the true value and the predicted value changes, then that's going to change your RNSE. And so what you want is you want your RNSE to be as low as possible. And so because you want your RNSE to be as low as possible, then that's what's going to happen. Um, you, at the moment, we've just got random variables. So but let's say, we'll say, equals plus one plus one and then we copy that down and then so now we've got an RMSC of one because We've said that it's the value uh, on, on the A column plus 1. So that's giving you a straight uh, linear equation, but that's never going to happen. I mean, that's never going to happen. But what we could do is we could say 0 to 1, or we can say 0 to 2. And copy that down and copy that down okay and then you can see when we have values from 0 to 2 you can see that your RNSC has uh, decreased yet again so now it's 1.22 is your RNSC so you can see how your true value 
as your predicted value changes from your true value, then that's going to change the RMSC. And we also made a chart, which we did the chart, we did a chart with on the last video. But if you want to create a chart on that, then what you would do is you would... Block off the values that you want to make a chart of. Do insert recommended charts, and then it would will go into all charts, going to X Y scatter plot, and then you could select OK, and that would give you the chart. And then if you want the formulas. Okay, so over here is your formulas, but you would click on plus, go to trend line, click on the arrow, click more options, and what it would do is it would, um, you can pick the type of line that you want, we're on a linear regression line. And then you can set it up to display the equation on the chart, which we already have the equation on the chart, and display the R squared on the chart, which we already have the R squared on the chart. So that's one thing that you can do to create a chart. Another thing that you can do is you can analyze the data. So we'll block off the data that we want. You come over here to Analyze Data. And so it will analyze the data for you. Give you a selection of charts. And you can ask the question. And we can say, what is r squared when well, you already know that because it's on the chart already but we can ask the question and see what happens and it says a uh, true value okay that's not it just says how many r squared in this So we ask the question and it just says, it just tells you what R squared is. So that's not a good one. But what we'll just ask this question, see what happens. This is, what is the error in this data set? And it says, here's your answer. So it didn't really give me the answer that I wanted, but that's just something that you can do uh, to play around to find out what you want to do with the data set. And if you like mathematics and you like playing around with mathematics, I've got the formula for RMSC on this page for you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video because we've talked about RMSC. We've talked about the formula that you use to get the RMSC. We've talked about how to create a chart, how to put a trend line on it, and how to pick the R squared and the uh, linear regression line on it. So we've talked about everything that we need to talk about. If you like my video, please like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video and I look forward to making some more videos for you in the future.